the house of cards is coming down. Is it really? Well, we're going to tell you who said that. And we've got some more news to round up for you today. Hey, everybody, my name is JJ. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It's September 22nd, 2021. Now, first of all, I'm not saying that the house of cards is coming down. Is there a house of cards? Yes. But they've got an infinite amount of duct tape and super glue to keep this house of cards not only propped up, but building it even larger. But I want everybody to know that this is how news works. The news and reporting of news and information is not always the person's opinion that's reporting it. I'm not going to always just give you my opinion. I'm going to talk about what other people are saying and what other people are doing. I'm going to talk about the markets. But I probably will still see people in comments saying, JJ said it's going to crash. No, JJ say the bubbles is going to get bigger and it's going to continue to get bigger and that we need to prepare for hyperinflation. You see, the only thing to stop this would be something that pulls the plug on the money printer. Could it happen? Sure, there could be a black swan event. There could be a blackout. Uh, there could be a cyber event occur. Uh, there could even be war. I mean, major things can throw this system into chaos. Uh, but let's tell you about who said the house of cards is coming down. Also said that real estate is going to crash. Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. Recent tweet from Robert. House of cards coming down. Real estate crashing with the stock market. China's Evergrande Group cannot pay. Valuation of properties fake. Will real estate crash spread to U.S.? Yes. Great stock and real estate opportunities coming for smart investors. Disaster for foolish investors. End of tweet from Robert Kiyosaki. So I have to disagree with Robert Kiyosaki. What does he know that I don't know or that we don't know? Because I think most of us here on this channel agree that the bubbles can keep going bigger as long as the inflators of the bubble decide that's, what's, uh, that's what needs to happen. Um, does Robert know that they're not going to bail out that real estate group, Evergrande? And when Robert says that great stock and real estate opportunities are coming, that signals deflation. So he is signaling deflation here. I'm not signaling that. We'll see who's right. I'm signaling further inflation because why the money printers can keep this propped up and keep expanding the bubbles. It's not like a balloon where ultimately it's going to pop. Just look at other countries where they've hyper inflated their currencies. Um, the, belt, the bubble never went burst in Zimbabwe. The bubble never went burst in Venezuela. And add on top of that, uh, dollar devaluation and endless money printing. Now we have all these supply chain restrictions. We still are underbuilt as far as the number of homes that we need to meet demand. Now let's look at a reply to what Robert Kiyosaki said. Uh, quote, not going to happen for a while. Coming from a perma bear, we have record low rates and in inventory, record high demand, record low days on the market. We are underbuilt by two to three million homes. Institutional money does not like getting into real estate before a crash. End of that tweet. And that was a reply to Kiyosaki. And it's true. Institutional money in the previous quarter, in the second quarter here in 2021, purchased a record amount of investment properties to turn around and rent out to the people. A lot of the same people that they likely outbid, people that were trying to buy the home, but this uh, investment company companies came in and outbid these people. So would record amounts of real estate be purchased by investors at the peak of a bubble before it was going to crash? Uh, I doubt it. All right, so I think most of you know what's going on here. Even very, very smart people, and Robert Kiyosaki is a very smart guy. He's made a lot of money. Um, if you judge someone's knowledge or intellect based on the amount of money that they've made, then he is a super smart guy. And even he, you know, has been saying this for a long time. It's not happened yet. Uh, maybe it will happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, let me know what you think about his prediction here and his call that uh, Evergrande is going to basically expand to uh, different countries, including the U.S., that this is going to be the beginning of the House of Cards 
coming down. Now let's shift gears a little bit here. And I had to laugh when I saw this because I used to joke about this because the monetary system is basically a joke. Uh, this is out of Kitco. Looming debt ceiling, uh, debt ceiling crisis. U.S. Treasury will, will use a $1 trillion platinum coin option. Remember, if you guys were on this channel, maybe in the past couple of years, I've said it a few times. If the amount or if the worth of a coin or a piece of paper or a bill is whatever is printed on it, why not just print up a $30 trillion coin or bill and use that to pay off the debt? Well, now they're seriously talking about this. Let's get into this article right here. The idea gained popularity during the previous debt ceiling debate a decade ago and was eventually rejected by the previous administration. There's a loophole in the law that dictates the mintage of coins potentially allowing the Treasury Department to mint platinum coins of any denomination and deposit them at the Fed in exchange for U.S. federal debt. So my question is, why stop at a trillion dollar coin? Why not just print or mint 30 trillion? Why not 100 trillion? If, if the amount or the worth is anything that they print on it, why stop at 1 trillion? And why does it have to be platinum? Look at the price of platinum. It's not a trillion dollars per ounce. It's a $945 an ounce. So why does it have to be platinum? Why not have a plastic coin and print or mint $100 trillion on a plastic coin? Why does it have to be platinum? So can we see how insane this is? What I said as a joke actually is something that's seriously being discussed. Trillion dollar coin. All right, more out of this article. Theoretically, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen can order the platinum coin to be minted and avoid a government shutdown if the debt ceiling is not raised in time. So what did we say just uh, last episode or a couple episodes ago? Even if the debt ceiling is not passed, they can come up with some emergency measure or some emergency operation at the sign of a pen or at the mintage of a coin to avert this whole, what they're calling could be a crisis. And it even says it right here in this article, it doesn't have to be a giant coin because it doesn't technically have to be made out of a trillion dollars worth of platinum. Uh, so what do we think about this? Why don't they just print up enough of these coins or maybe one coin with a hundred trillion, pay off all the national debt, um, fund all the programs that are saying not going to be funded, uh, pay off everybody's debt. Why not? Why stop at just a trillion? Why not pay off everybody's debt? No one has a loan. No one has a mortgage, right? Pretty insane, right? Well, we're in insane times right now. So I guess you're going to see more insane ideas like this. Uh, keep preparing, folks, because uh, when you see crazy stuff like this, it signals that something is very, very wrong. Uh, we don't know what fork in the road comes next, but we do know that we should prepare. Uh, be cautious. Stay safe, everybody. Stay well. Till next time, thanks for watching this report. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss the latest news and updates. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace.